What is methylene blue? Is it healthy? Do we take it? Methylene blue, also known as methylthioninium chloride, is a substance that has been taking the biohacking community by storm. Especially in the last year or so, it's been promoted by countless longevity enthusiasts as the latest and greatest nootropic that's claimed to give your mitochondria and mood a positive, life-altering boost. But what is methylene blue exactly? That's where things get a bit weird, as it's not a natural, nutritive, food-based product, but a synthetic chemical dye. Discovered in 1876, methylene blue is made from dimethylaniline, a derivative of aniline initially sourced from coal tar. It was originally utilized to dye textiles. Some parrot that it was once used to color blue jeans, but we have not found concrete evidence of this in historical records. It has been used in allopathic medicine for well over a century, for lab staining purposes and as a surgical dye. Later, it was also developed as an FDA approved medication, initially under the Prove Blue label and prescribed for a rare condition called methemoglobinemia. It was also used to treat malaria, urinary tract infections, and employed as an antidote for carbon monoxide and cyanide poisoning. Medically, it was administered via vein injection only. Currently, it is still on the WHO's list of essential medicines. Modern day, off-label 1% pharmaceutical grade methylene blue is now the one used as a type of health supplement. It is widely available as liquid drops taken in small dose amounts. The 1% part means that it's a solution in which 1 gram of methylene blue is dissolved into 100 milliliters of solvent, usually water. When mixed with water, it turns a deep blue and stains the tongue soon after consumption. Hence the blue tongue craze on many social media platforms. This is our review of this trending so-called super supplement. How it works, its proposed benefits, and if supplementation of this synthesized compound is something we actually promote. How methylene blue works as a redox agent. Why is methylene blue considered potentially helpful to humans who ingest it? The basic underlying feature that it's responsible for many of its reported benefits is that it has redox properties. Redox stands for reduction oxidation or oxidation reduction, a chemical reaction that changes cellular oxidative states. For this reason, it is considered an antioxidant. This also means it's basically capable of receiving and donating electrons which affect what is called the mitochondrial electron transport chain. This directly influences the mitochondria. Often denoted the powerhouse of a cell, mitochondria are primarily accountable for the body's energy currency or ATP. Commonly claimed benefits of methylene blue. One of the popular claimed benefits of methylene blue supplementation is that it can significantly enhance cognitive functions by crossing the blood-brain barrier and stimulate mitochondria energy production in the brain. Some research does suggest its potential as a neuroprotective therapeutic agent in regard to age-related cognitive decline and memory. For the average person, it is declared to dramatically improve focus and provide the feeling of limitless, i.e. the movie, energy soon after intake. It's sometimes called blue meth for this reason, and often deemed a kind of nootropic, especially at low doses. The last trendy use for methylene blue supplementation is that it can improve mood, eliminate anxiety, and induce positive mental states. Again, this is often declared to be due to its influence on the brain's mitochondrial energy itself but also because it acts as a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, which in theory may increase levels of the feel-good neurotransmitters serotonin, 
norepinephrine, and dopamine. Methylene blue quality and dosage. Methylene blue, the dietary supplement variety, not the medicine, is sold most predominantly as liquid drops, but it is also available as an encapsulated powder. This is an off-label, pharmaceutical grade that meets the standards set by the U.S. Pharmacopoeia. Higher quality versions are usually advertised to be 99% pure. This means heavy metal impurities are removed as well as formaldehyde, which is sometimes used in the manufacturing process. Some capsules also contain other ingredients like vitamin C and cacao powder for added support. Dosing is supposedly very important as the magic is reportedly to only occur at lower dose amounts. The slogan is, less is more, when it comes to supplementation. At high doses, it is considered harmful. Most suppliers provide a 1% solution, which can average out to 2 mg of methylene blue per drop. Some say that adverse side effects are rare when you take under 2 mg. Many people, however, take way over this amount. A common serving size on supplement facts labeling is often 20 drops or 10 milligrams. Do we take methylene blue? The short answer is no. When we initially learned about methylene blue, it wasn't something either one of us here at Superfood Evolution would ever consider taking. Firstly, it's not considered a food-based supplement. It is a synthetic, lab-produced chemical dye. Albeit, it is a pharmaceutical-grade one, yes, but nonetheless, it's more of a xenobiotic and not something we intuitively feel we should ingest. When you think about most food coloring dyes, they're often on top of the list of ingredients to avoid in packaged foods. Yes, it may be helpful for those with metabolic dysfunctions or rare blood disorders, like methemoglobinemia one of its original uses. But according to some health experts, this kind of mood-boosting, get-her-done mode that seems to appeal to many biohackers functions more as a synthetic, psychiatric drug than a natural nutraceutical. In addition, there is also the notion that it stains your brain and heart a blue-green color, according to research. This leaves us feeling a bit skeptical. Do we really know what it does when taken on a long-term basis? To us, it seems to be a bit of a human experiment as opposed to a lifespan extender or longevity solution. Evidently, it doesn't always work for everyone and may be dependent on the health of one's own mitochondrial functions. Have we ever taken it? Yes, for the purpose of this review, I took 10 drops to test it out. Nothing happened and there was no magic boost. Perhaps more is needed, or my mitochondria are working just fine. Final thoughts on methylene blue supplementation. While it's a trendy anti-aging toolkit item these days, and reported to help with some major health issues like the big C, we personally would approach this substance with caution if you choose to use it on a regular basis. Because methylene blue supplementation can adversely interact with many health issues or medications like antidepressants, it is definitely very important to consult your health professional before use for safety reasons. We have heard about some adverse reactions which may include blue stained tongue and urine, restlessness or agitation, tightness in chest cavity, lightheadedness and nausea, red face flush and headaches. Along with maintaining a whole food animal and or plant-based diet, regular exercise protocols and healthy lifestyle habits, there are plenty of other antioxidant rich superfoods to consider. Blue spirulina, for example, is a concentrated form of the natural antioxidant phycocyanin, a much safer long-term option to methylene blue. Bottom line, we would advise getting to the root cause of things like low energy and depression rather than taking a quick fix to cover up underlying symptoms. Precautions. It is important to avoid methylene blue when pregnant, 
nursing, taking herbal or prescribed antidepressants, and serotonergic drugs. Consult your healthcare professional before taking it if you are taking any other medications or if you have serious health issues. Thanks for watching! For more in depth info, as well as top quality online sources, be sure and check out the links in the description box below this video. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And be sure not to miss these additional health enhancing videos.